Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the position collections. I'm sorry I didn't do a video the whole weekend. Um, I just had uh, so many things going on with the NCAA tournament. I had four monitors set up. People were coming and going and watching a game or so on all my monitors and whatnot. But let's hop into these position collections. First, uh, you got Drew Brees. Uh, they got one card for every position, minus kicker and punter. Missing a third wide receiver, a third corner, a second D tackle, and... I think that's it uh, yeah that's it but most of these cards already have cards which are just kind of repeat some don't have a cards which I'll point out but if you take a comparison look on the auction at the back of those cards compared to these the price difference I would say is not entirely worth it this is one of the new cards right here is John Connor uh, he's a he's a better version of the 94 Sheldon Richardson that I have been using or was using because I'm pretty sure I don't have him anymore <laughs> Uh, and this one's also 99 overall for those of you who are obsessed with 99 overall. Uh, so, once again, most of these cards already have a card release. Some of them aren't as good, like the Josh Gordon here has a 98 overall card previously. Wow, maybe I don't really have a comparison at the moment. Maybe the cornerback Tim Jennings, which I'm kind of spoiling that part, but the cornerback Tim Jennings has... Uh, I think his best card is a 93 or something like that, but none of these cards, other than the John Connor, I think are first time cards. Uh, they've all had either a fantasy, a road to the playoff, a premium, a regular elite, football outsiders, um, what other, BCA, I guess, holiday edition, legendary card, there is one legendary card, uh, hold on, let's see here, what, what else are there, uh, final editions, uh, the free agency cards, there's so many different ones, uh, that the captain cards, the team MVP cards, uh, there's so many different ones, uh, I'm not going to even try to name the rest of them, uh, so the, I do give them that fact that it is hard to eventually get new cards, like new players, uh, but I, I do like how they gave John Connor a card, uh, he hasn't had one yet. I wish they would have done that with a few other players, maybe like an Antonio Cromartie corner. If you haven't seen an upgraded version of his base one, uh, maybe Champ Bailey, even though he got his man 25. It'd still be nice to see a different Champ Bailey, maybe a uh, Des Bryant. Des Bryant's highest card is a 95-3, I think, maybe a Des Bryant. Uh, I'm happy they didn't make a Megatron wide receiver because the, the and an AP halfback. Those are just overkill at this point. Uh, maybe a uh, I would say Colin Kaepernick. Maybe a 99 Colin Kaepernick. Uh, some something like that. Drew Brees. You already have a 97 Drew Brees. Who's really wanting a Drew Brees as their quarterback? Uh, maybe a Matthew Stafford. Something like that. Left end maybe. Um, I don't even know. Right end, you could do a Chandler Jones or something like that. Somebody whose highest card is a 93. Um, at D tackle, you could go with someone like uh, Vince Wilfork, who hasn't gotten a card because he got injured. Somebody around those lines who've been injured. And maybe you haven't had the opportunity to get a card. Maybe a cornerback, Darrell Revis. His best card is a 97, the Thanksgiving one. And uh, we all know he's a better corner than a 97. We've got a 99 Sherman. Uh, so I think we should get a 99 Revis. We got 99 Dion. We got all those uh, left outside linebacker. We've already had some good Von Millers. Maybe we could get a. I don't even know. I don't even know that many good left up. Left outside linebackers that deserve it. Uh, but Von Miller, I guess, is the best one for that. We could have gotten a second middle linebacker and maybe got a uh, uh, Carlos Dansby 99 or um, uh, someone like any middle linebacker. Patrick Willis already has his 97. I guess I guess he deserves a 99. Right outside linebacker, I do like how they gave it to John Abraham. Maybe they could have given it to uh, Gerard Mayo. I'm just naming Patriots because that's just coming to my head right now. Uh, Gerard Mayo or um, Gerard Mayo. I can't even think of players right now. Cornerbacks, they could have given it to, uh, whatchamacallit, Keep Tlaib, Champ Bailey, Cromarty, um, Charles Tillman, uh, Brandon Browner, uh, just anybody. Uh, Tim Jennings is not bad pick. Joe Hayden has a 96 overall, so I guess a 99 isn't too out of the question. He's got a 100 man, so uh, lockdown corner right there. 
getting into safeties, Earl Thomas isn't an awful one. I would have liked to see a Charles Woodson, um, but he already has a 99 corner. Or uh, Tyron Matthew, Ed Reed. Ed Reed has his 99 already too, so that, that wouldn't work. And so here's the big ticket one, the 99 overall strong safety, Brian Dawkins. Uh, the back of his card is all good and well, but the real attraction to this card is the 102 hit power which is just insane. They finally made a card with over 100 in a stat. And so this is just a quick list of all the cards. You've got QB, Drew Brees, halfback Jamal Charles, fullback John Connor, wide receiver Josh Gordon, wide receiver Antonio Brown, tight end Tony Gonzalez, left tackle Tyron Smith, left guard Josh Sitton, center Jason Kelsey, right guard Marshall Yanda, and right tackle Orlando Franklin for the offensive players. On the defensive side of the ball, you've got left end Greg Hardy, right end Robert Quinn, D tackle and Dominican Sue, left outside linebacker Von Miller, middle linebacker Patrick Willis, right outside linebacker John Abraham, cornerback Tim Jennings, cornerback Joe Hayden, free safety Earl Thomas, and strong safety Brian Dawkins. Uh, they could have made a lot of different cards. I just named a few that I could think of off the top of my head. But it uh, looks like the coin rewards for these collections are nowhere near what they were last year or the rewards uh, in, in any previous year. Uh, but I, I guess we shouldn't expect much more out of Mutt uh, this year. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the position collections, uh, if you like them or you don't, uh, the rewards and whatnot. But um, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out, everyone.